Excellent. Um, so let me ask you this. So you guys have gone through so coming up with the with use cases mm -hmm. that you wanted to deploy in the CDP. Yeah. Um, and those came in early on. What was the process like? Was it um, did you guys already have some pain points you knew you wanted to solve the CDP? Did you do like some kind of assessment or workshop where you brought an outsider from a strategy and came up with some of these use cases? Um, what, what can you share with us on that? Yeah, sure. Um, we did We did have some strategic collateral that we had done uh, a few years ago, and that was kind of like the uh, we started with that, right? So there were some really good use cases there on, on what was possible. But I like to think about the use cases are really key, right? Having the use cases, it really kind of frames what you're doing and what problem you're trying to solve. So we did uh, start with some of those use cases. So there was the use cases you know, and then the use cases you don't know, right? So we mm -hmm. didn't, you know, some of these is were like what you would traditionally think in true omni-channel type of engagements where you would have, okay, now we're going to be able to have uh, somebody going to a club, but then, you know, being able to do things like they haven't necessarily shopped in a certain period of time, but they've browsed our website and been looking for TVs or looking for things in the fresh category. How can we uh, combine those two uh, elements about a member's journey with us and activate something that's specific, ca uh, specifically catered to them, right? So those were kind of the, the baseline use cases, but then uh, we also started seeing things as we onboarded the technology that we could do that was beyond some of these other use cases, right? So it's true multi-channel uh, journeys, right? Mm -hmm. Where we would have people falling into certain categories in a, in a funnel for the marketing uh, flow, but then based on their actions, we would, uh, because everything is happening in real time as they're engaging with emails or not engaging with emails, we wanted to be able to now take the next step uh, with them and kind of anticipate their next action. So th those were some of the things that we, as we started really getting more advanced and certainly, you know, this is still day one for us, right? So it's not like we've had this uh, for a long time, but we're starting to think about some of these use cases. Now that we have the stack in place, um, you know, our business teams are thinking, you know, there's a, there's a lot of light bulbs going off uh, in terms of what's possible now. So it's more, some of these use cases evolved. You go in with a certain thought and, and thought process on what you think you're going to get. But what I've seen is that it's really expanded. Like it's really taken off in terms of what use cases are possible. And some of the infrastructure we put in has have enabled uh, certain capabilities we didn't even thought, think we would need. So for example, uh, you know, because we're instituting Adobe Launch, we have the ability now to do things more server side, right? So not, you know, server side, not just with the Adobe stack, so all the Adobe tools, but also server side with some of our digital marketing vendors. Uh, so now we can, you know, try to move away from some of the, the client side browser -based, uh, yeah. integration, browser-based integrations we've been doing uh, with some of these digital marketing vendors. That's not something we necessarily set out to do, right. but because of the CDP infrastructure and what we were doing, we were able to kind of get some of that stuff uh, uh, as well. 